ठंडा गहरा और खाली इस तरह से ब्रह्मांड अपने जीवन के अधिकांश समय कैसे बिताएगा हमारा ब्रह्मांड जीवन को चमकाने के लिए केवल एक छोटा क्षण देता है समय के साथ एक स्वर्ग अपने उग्र जन्म और बर्फीले मौत से सुरक्षित but it's a window that doesn't stay open for long as a fraction of the lifespan of the universe as measured from its beginning to the evaporation of the last black hole life as we know it is only possible for 1000th of a billion billion billionth billion billion billionth billion billion billionth of a percent holes become the fundamental building block of the universe a galaxy will basically be a supermassive black hole in a center with smaller black holes orbiting it zombie galaxies filled with black holes continue to evolve they'll lead each other and they'll get bigger and maybe they'll fall into the supermassive black hole and it'll get bigger the universe will still be an exciting dynamic place it's just that the time scales you're talking about are now trillions of years instead of thousands or millions of years is door ki umr mein black hole vile mukhya ghatna ban jate hain kuch bade aakar tak badhte hain संभवतः हमारे सूरज के द्रव्यमान का कई गुना जब वे विलय करते हैं तो वे एक शक्तिशाली गुरुत्व आकर्षण तरंगों को बाहर भेजते हैं जो पूरे ब्रह्मांड में घूमती हैं and they have a very characteristic song imagine two black holes that have lived a long life together at the end of their lives they're going around each other crossing thousands of kilometers in a fraction of a second as they do so they leave behind in their wake a ringing of space an actual wave on space time space squeezes and stretches as it emanates out from these black holes banging on the universe those are the gravitational waves they are literally the sounds of space ringing and they will travel out from these black holes at the speed of light as they ring down and coalesce to one spinning quiet black hole if you were standing near enough your ear would resonate with the squeezing and stretching of space you would literally hear the sound imagine a lighter black hole falling into a very heavy black hole the sound you're hearing is a light black hole banging on space each time it gets close as it falls in it gets faster and it gets louder scientists used to think black holes were immortal but even these would one day die Now we're talking about time scales of unimaginable length, quadrillions of years into the future. 
on that time scale, even the black holes begin to evaporate. According to quantum mechanics, space is filled with virtual particles, and antiparticles, that are constantly materializing in pairs, separating, coming together again, and annihilating each other. In the presence of a black hole, one member of a pair of virtual particles may fall into the hole leaving the other member without a partner with which to annihilate. The forsaken particle appears to be radiation emitted by the black hole. And so, black holes are not eternal. They evaporate away at an increasing rate until they vanish in a gigantic explosion. Quantum mechanics has allowed particles and radiation to escape from the ultimate prison, a black hole. ब्रह्मांड में अंतिम बड़े पैमाने पर संरचनाओं को मिटाकर ब्लैक होल गायब होने लगते हैं। जैसे ही वे मरते हैं एक एक करके अंधकार को दूर करते हैं जैसे कि ब्लैक होल धीरे धीरे मर जाते हैं ब्रह्मांड का विस्तार जारी है एक रहस्यमय बल द्वारा संचालित जिसे हम अभी तक नहीं समझते हैं यह अन्वेषण और खोज के लिए तैयार मानव ज्ञान की सीमा है The latest evidence shows that the universe is not slowing down, but it's speeding up out of control. And the universe, we think, will die in ice. Trillions upon trillions of years from now. Empty space itself has energy. In every little cubic centimeter of space, whether or not there's stuff, whether or not there's particles, matter, radiation, or whatever, there is still energy, even in the space itself. And this energy, according to Einstein, exerts a push on the universe. What is the weird stuff that's accelerating the universe? We call it dark energy. And this stuff is the dominant stuff of the universe. Almost three quarters of the matter energy content of the universe is this dark energy. And we don't know what it is. Dark energy, unlike matter or radiation, does not dilute away as the universe expands. This has crucial implications for what the universe is going to do in the future. So what will be the future of the universe? Well, if the dark energy remains dominant and repulsive, the universe will expand forever. Faster and faster and faster with time. A runaway universe. 70% of the energy of the universe resides in empty space, and we don't understand why. But we do know what will happen. If that energy continues to be there, the universe will become cold and dark and empty. That's the future as it might be. We don't know 
because we don't yet understand the nature of dark energy. Until we do, we won't know the future, we won't even understand the, our own origins, and that's why we want to know and study this subject. डार्क एनर्जी वास्तविक प्रकृति की खोज भविष्य की हमारी दृष्टि को नाट के रूप से बदल सकती है यदि यह किसी तरह से समय के साथ कमजोर हो जाता है तो ब्रह्मांड गुरुत्व आकर्षण के तहत रह सकता है एक बड़ा क्रंच अगर बढ़ावा दिया जाता है तो यह ब्रह्मांड को अलग कर सकता है एक बड़ा रिप भौतिक विदों को तेजी से संदेह है कि हमारे स्वयं के परे कई ब्रह्मांड हो सकते हैं जिनमें से प्रत्येक भौतिकी के अपने अनूठे कानूनों के साथ हैं कुछ जीवन के लिए सही परिस्थितियों को बनाए रखेंगे दूसरे टूट सकते हैं या अलग हो सकते हैं अन्य हमारी कल्पना से कहीं अधिक विदेशी हो सकते हैं इससे पहले कि एक नए टुकड़े कहीं बाहर हैं जो मिलने का इंतजार कर रहे हैं कुछ लोग अनुमान लगाते हैं कि एंट्रोपी सब कुछ उठाने से पहले हमारे ब्रह्मांड के लिए बनाए रखने का तरीका हो सकता है हम नकली आभासी ब्रह्मांड बना सकते हैं या पर्याप्त ऊर्जा के साथ अपने समान एक और बना सकते हैं We've worked out the mathematics, the equations. They seem to say that if you have an atom smasher that can concentrate tremendous amounts of energy at a single point, you can perhaps open up a gateway, a baby universe. Facing the death of everything there is, this perhaps is their only possibility of escape. And this also raises a very intriguing possibility, sheer speculation of course, that perhaps any universe that has intelligent life in it will create baby universes, will create lifeboats and proliferate child universes. So an evolution may take among universes in the multiverse. Survival of the fittest may take place. So those universes which do not have intelligent life are infertile. They have no children. But those universes that have mild temperatures, stars like us, would create civilizations that could open up child universes and they would then proliferate. यदि ब्रह्मांड से बचने का कोई रास्ता नहीं है तो एंट्रोपी अंतिम से सुपरमैसिव ब्लैक होल को नष्ट कर देगा जैसे कि अंतिम एक विस्फोट होता है और मर जाता है यह अंतिम बार प्रकाश में ब्रह्मांड को स्नान कराता है an unimaginable length of time even the black holes will be evaporated and the universe will be nothing 
but a sea of photons gradually tending towards the same temperature as the expansion of the universe cools them towards absolute zero. Once the very last remnants of the very last stars have finally decayed away to nothing, and everything reaches the same temperature, the story of the universe finally comes to an end. For the first time in its life, the universe will be permanent and unchanging. Entropy finally stops increasing because the cosmos cannot get any more disordered. Nothing happens and it keeps not happening forever. <laughs>